Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome dream like effect on your footage right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have your footage on the timeline, as you can see in my example I've got three video clips, one is of some traffic, one is of me overlooking a window and the other one is a view from that same very window. And I want to apply the effect to all three of these clips. So I'm going to select all of these clips and I'm going to right click and go up to nest and we're just going to nest these into their own little sequence. So from here we just want to make a copy of that nested video so we're just going to hold option on the keyboard and we're just going to drag that up to video layer 2 to make that copy. Now from here we'll go into effects and we'll search for fast blur and we'll drop the fast blur onto video layer 2. Now in fast blur we're just going to pull the blur in us up to around 40% and we're going to select the box that says repeat edge pixels. Then we'll select the circle mask inside of fast blur, we'll select inverted and we'll pull the mask expansion all the way up to 100% and we'll increase the feathering. We can also increase the mask expansion a little bit taller if you want so we'll go up to 300. And then we'll just expand the width of this mask over to the left and to the right. Now from here again we want to select both of these videos and we're just going to nest these into their own sequence. So select both of these videos right click go up to nest we can rename this nested sequence and from here we need to make two copies of this video so hold option on your keyboard drag the video up to video layer 2 and drag 2 up to 3 then in effects we're going to search for RGB and inside of image control you'll see color balance RGB drop this preset onto all three of your video clips and on video layer 3 you want to change the green and the blue value both down to 0%. Now we'll go to video layer 2 and we'll change the red and the blue to 0. Now to video layer 1 we'll change red and green to 0. And then we'll go ahead and we'll change the blending mode on the top two video layers. So that's video 2 and video 3. We'll change the blending mode to screen on both of these layers. So it's only the top two. You don't need to change the blending mode on the bottom layer on video layer 1. And now from here, all we have to do to reveal the next step of this is just to increase the scale of the clip on the very top. So that's video layer three. We'll just increase the scale of this up to around 102, 103, all the way up to 106%. And there you go. Once you've added this chromatic aberration and you've got the blurring around the edges, that is the dreamlike effect now complete right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to subscribe to see more. Click this box if you want to see the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.